Okay, I'm going to do a, just a short little video today talking about um, some of the, the two kind of key features of the wave bolt, and I'm going to demonstrate um, demonstrate that as well. So we've got a five eighths inch and a half inch version. I'll just use the half inch version for simplicity here today. Okay, so uh, the first feature I'm going to talk about is, is the actual kinks in the rods here. Okay, and note that the rods are welded together, so it does form a true one piece design. Uh, but the kinks here is uh, how we came up with the name, the wave bolt, okay? And what happens are these kinks um, are, are what the glue hardens around in the hole. So whereas uh, many other designs of glue and bolts have just straight rods coming back or one straight rod coming back and they have some, some grooves cut into it or some twists or, or whatever is the case, um, the, the glue is just hardening around that exterior and it doesn't have a whole lot to grab onto, okay? Because Glue, uh, whether acrylic or epoxy, doesn't really bond to, to metal per se. So um, it's just hardening around the exterior. So we have a lot of surface area here, a lot of big angles where the glue really hardens around that and it really holds the bolt in place. Especially for a straight out pull, um, it has tremendous resistance to that because the glue is hardening around that. Okay, the second key feature of the wave bolt that makes it truly unique uh, amongst any other glue and bolt and makes it just as easy to use as a mechanical bolt um, is, is this little gap in between the two, the two rods here. So uh, this is a half inch bolt, or what we say is a half inch bolt. At this end, it is a true half inch, okay? It tapers out a little wider here, and you can see the gap, okay? And at this end, it's approximately 0.6. Okay, so it's about a tenth of an inch larger. So we have this tapered design, and what this allows the uh, this this allows two things. So first, it allows a gap in here between the two rods, where the glue will seep in and actually harden. So with the wave bolt, the glue is not just hardening around the exterior of the bolt; it's actually getting on the interior of the bolt, so to speak, as well, and truly locks it into place. In our testing, we've pulled bolts out that. Uh, where the glue has not set, and we find that indeed the glue is down in here. It works as it's supposed to. So the, the glue is truly encasing the entire bolt as opposed to just hardening around the exterior, uh, as with every other design um, on the market right now. Okay, the second key feature of the, of the uh, wave bolt here in regards to the taper design uh, is, is what makes it so easy to use and virtually solves the problem of glue and bolts. And the problem of glue and bolts, uh, for those of you that have ever set uh, or uh, put up a route on an overhanging piece of rock, is when you put the bolt in, in a hole on a roof or something, it of course falls out before the glue sets, okay? Well this, this taper design solves that problem by actually compressing the two rods as you tap it into the hole. It's sort of like a, a piton would, would deform around the, around the interior of a crack in the old days, okay? So if you have a tightly drilled half inch hole, you're going to have to tap this in. These rods will compress a little bit and are springing outward then and, and holds the bolt in place before the glue sets. So you could put a wave bolt in a perfectly vertical hole with the glue in it and it'll stay there, it will not fall out, okay? In our actual testing with, with load cells and, and a hydraulic pulling rig, um, we tested this uh, in a straight pull with no glue in the hole. It held, the half inch version held just a little bit over a thousand pounds, okay? So that means it's obviously not going to just fall out, okay? now. Uh, if you are bolting something on a vertical or just even slightly overhanging um, wall, you don't need to tap it in. In fact, you could just take a half inch drill bit and when you drill your hole you can just kind of bore it out a little bit or you could use an oversized drill bit like a 9 16 inch bit and then of course you can just slide it right in because you're not worried about the bolt falling out. But on those steep walls where you are worried about it falling out before the glue sets, you drill a half inch hole, nice and tight, and you tap it in, it's no big deal, and it'll hold there. And like I said, we've tested it to about a thousand pounds, well, a little bit over a thousand pounds. This does not mean that you should climb on the bolt before it, uh, the glue sets. It should not be used as an anchor point before the glue sets, but it does mean it won't fall out, and it virtually eliminates the problem with glue-in bolting, okay? So, 
what I've done here to demonstrate some of this, I have two holes drilled here, okay? I have a 9 16 inch hole and a normal half inch hole. And I'm going to take this half inch bolt, wave bolt, and just demonstrate um, if, if this were a, a vertical or just slightly overhanging wall and I was not worried about the bolt falling out, I'd drill my slightly oversized hole or again just bore out a half inch hole, push it right in just like any other bolt and leave it for the glue to set. Obviously you've put, you put the glue in first put the bolt in, some glue will seep out, so you clean it up. I mean, you know, obviously just like any other, any other glue and bolt design, okay? Um, and, and we're good to go here, okay? Now, let's say that we're on a very steep overhanging route or a roof section and we, and we don't want to sit there and, and hold the bolt until it, until it sets up or we don't want to use putty or we don't want to use duct tape or all the other silly tricks that you have to do with every other design. Here I've drilled just a normal half inch hole you can see I can push this in just a little bit, okay, and it stays there. So now what I'm going to do, I've just got a, a, a rubber uh, tipped uh, hammer here. You can use a normal hammer if you want. You'll mark up the surface a little bit, but um, that's not really a concern. And we're just going to tap it in. Now this is a nice tight hole, so I have to give it a couple good taps, but it's no big deal. Um, you know, I could have bored this out just a little bit to make it a little easier to go in, but I wanted to demonstrate um, the most work that you'd have to do. So here I'm just going to tap it in. Just goes in. Okay, so that's in all the way there. I um, had to give it a few whacks. It's, it's not going to go anywhere. To demonstrate that, it's going to hook up a half inch quick look here. Again, there's, there's no glue in the hole. I mean, you saw me. Uh, the hole's empty. Okay. Tighten this quick link down just a little bit. It's got a tow chain or a tow rope here. I'm just gonna hook into this. I'm just gonna give this some good tugs here. You can see I've got wrapped on, got my, my body weight on here. And I'm pulling, I'm 200 pounds or so. This isn't going anywhere. Okay, so obviously it's not gonna slide out of the hole. Okay. Now, since I can't pull this out, obviously. And we're actually going to use this, hook it up to a truck, because we got to get the bolt back out, because I don't want it to sit here in the rock. So um, we're going to film that. I have no idea what happens. Um, obviously, a, a truck can put a lot of force on it, so it'll pop out eventually. But uh, we're going to give this a shot here. So I'm going get, to get this hooked up, and we'll pick back up. There you have it. The wave bolt stays in when uh, stays in without any glue on overhanging terrain. Had to give it a pretty good tug there with with the truck, and of course there's no damage or anything like that to the bolt. Um, so there you go. It will not fall out uh, before the glue sets on overhanging terrain.